All right, so I found local so the credit news. Union opened. They don't uh, really and, and pause this or something. I got a local news uh, for this hostage situation. Credit Union in Tuscaloosa. This is Wyatt CBS 42. You know, 42 Freemasonic number. It happens to be January 10th. It was first published 1059 for your 19 coding. Today's Gematria breaks down to you get your 1 1, and the year this year is going to break down to 1, obviously, because you got 2 3. 2 uh, is 10. But then updated January 10. Uh, one. So this is basically one, 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 uh, one, 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 one. So seven. And this would have been one, 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 nine. So you're nine with four ones, which would break down to four. And seven. Anyway, that's a little bit too much there. But we have on January 10th a hostage situation on 10th Street on the corner of 10th and Ann Ave for your double A. Also, they're saying avoid the area, obviously. So avoid the situation. FBI is on the scene. Let's just watch this. Really before people probably uh, and this is a, a different shot of what you can see, but I wonder what oh, they're yeah, able to tell us like a um, as to whether there's any um, movement going. About, I don't know, 35 police cars, um, a military vehicle. Hang on in that area of the Alabama Credit Union. I know that they're relocating uh, currently as well, so I'm sure James will be back with us in just a moment as, as they get that. We're gonna go right now to uh, Matt Fernandez, though, until we can get James on the, on the line. We're gonna go to Matt Fernandez, who's learning new information just into our newsroom. Hey, Jimmy, yeah, still very actively trying to call law enforcement and get the latest updates. I spoke with Lieutenant Richards. Now, what she believes oh. is as far as right now, hostages. What did Lieutenant Richards say? What does she have to say, Mr. Dude from 42 Wyatt CVS? Are still inside. The suspect is still armed. As you mentioned, the uh, CEO of the bank says they are safe, but we're not sure exactly what that means at this time, but he said, uh, you know, they 11, are safe at 11. this time. Remember uh, I did stuff. speak with the mayor's this office. One, they one, are expected to send a to statement 11. very shortly. As soon as we get that in, we will provide that to you guys. Once again, still very active scene. Active. Look at this live picture. A lot of law enforcement. <laughs> still out there at this time. Back to you guys. Kind of embarrassing that all of them are out Matt, there. Matt, thank you for that. Uh, Matt Fernandez situation. joining us from our newsroom as uh, and Breaking News Center as we're this learning more for the information video? into our newsroom. Uh, Sherry, tense moments this morning. This is, a, this is a frightening situation for anyone who was involved and to, to know at this hour it's still a is question this like mark. Is like frozen? I don't know. Yes, who on. exactly is inside that bank. Uh, oh, with the, the person who we are told came inside with a gun this morning uh, at 8.30 before the credit union opened. Uh, and from the, the police, yeah, Tuscaloosa police right now, it's an armed person who they believe is still holding people inside of the bank, although the, the president of the this credit union said they are all accounted for. Again, we're working to find out exactly what that means, as Matt told you. Um, but at this hour to know that people are being held inside of a, a credit union at gunpoint. Um, it's just it's, insane. It's a, a frightening situation. That last check, they were trying to establish contact with the person inside of the bank. We know that the FBI is there on the scene, and we also know that police and sheriff's deputies are there as well. So heavy law enforcement surrounding that area, um, some of it to keep people away to make sure nobody wanders inside. We've spoken on the phone with David Mize at the Bryant Museum, who's just up the street from there, and he saw that very active scene this morning uh, at about 8.30. It's been two and a half hours, two hours, almost two and a half hours at this point, uh, that he has been held inside his location as well. Um, 
being told to go back inside uh, that Arby's. You saw some pictures you're looking at on the screen here. <clears throat> Another 11. Arby's restaurant is where some people were taken. Some of the employees were taken shortly after this happened. We're told that the sheriff's deputies dropped them off at the Arby's restaurant. That was at least five people. Right. Um, you know, wow. you may be wondering, oh too, God. if you're watching Arby's. this. Uh, about what is the, this, an Arby's ad? The surrounding businesses, there are quite a bit of, uh, uh, quite a number of offices as well as, uh, um, you know, school businesses and, and other businesses that are in that area. Oh, yeah, make uh, sure you mention the, the fact that there could be kids, like, really push the fear, CBS 42, push it. Um, law school, uh, the sorority and fraternity houses are nearby as well as the stadium. Um, Look at this so freaking you may tank. be wondering what about the people tank? who are in and out of those areas. We have been told that they <laughs> have been evacuated. Um, and again, Bryant Drive and University Boulevard are closed Did now. I see a, so, uh, you may see some like standing around. It looks this is like a scary live, situation actually. as we look this at like this. We never feed. like to that see those not, uh, yeah, lights live. of emergency okay. vehicles. That's for sure because. Uh, of course, we always wind up fearing the worst in a situation like this. But you may see calmness going on as far as the police officers and FBI is concerned at this point. Oh, you and they see, are saying see, that right like, now. Right as I was about to say, like, are they just standing around? Because, like, this, is this a cop here? I just thought I saw people, like, crossing the street casually. Um, people can go back on the video. I don't know. I'm not going to, like, say anything. But this guy looks... I can't tell if he's got khaki shorts on. Is that like a FBI? Is he like in half civilian clothes? What's going on there? And then, the, of course, the news lady mentions, oh, you know, we're getting shots of them being casual. Probably something she heard in the earpiece. They're reading from a teleprompter or receiving lines from an earpiece. So, you know, they were told, you know, yeah, the, the cops on screen look really casual. Like, you got, I don't know if those are police officers. A lot of people standing around. The best uh, way to be in a situation like this is to remain like those calm look like so that they can get the situation remedied. Uh, so and before that guy, I don't and, know and you have to on. imagine that people who work in establishments like credit unions and banks, that this is part of their training and things that they they are learning. Um, you can see a little movement now on the screen. Our James this McConaughey is like, and, the, and the team. They knew they like they were run, they were beating a dead horse short. with like these like. <clears throat> I don't know, shootings, like, I felt like the airport one was just so bogus, and this is, they try to, like, style it up by, like, making it a hostage situation, like, nobody's gonna, like, I don't know, I just, it just seems so weird, right after their little game last night, the loss, the 35, the 31, the loss, um, it's just, I don't know, 8, because that breaks down to 8 and 4. To see what they've been able like, to what's hear. going on, honestly. Uh, hopefully they've been able to get information from the mayor, but he's arrived on that scene, and he's probably uh, getting up to speed, as, as many of you are if you're joining us now, on this uh, hostage situation at the Alabama Credit Union there on Bryant Drive. A suspect in go That might be it for them. And okay, here with, we go. Uh, I don't know. They Tuscaloosa wanted me to watch police. another ad. Or something. Uh, you see uh, yeah, talk on the cell phone. Call. Look all official. The camera's on us. The camera's on us. Stop smiling. You're not supposed to be smiling. We're live. They're walking towards the media. Our hope is that they will be able to address the media because at he's this like, hour, he's like, dude, we're uh, on we all TV. We want to learn a little bit more about Stop the smiling. suspect. Um, what drove this? Uh, what drove a family <laughs> before kidding. Let's see what opened, happens. We got some license plates. Hostage. Someone can run this different shit. Numbers, eight hostages inside the bank. Five people taken to garbage. the this Arby's restaurant much garbage. earlier uh, in this this situation, and so. Uh, finding out what oh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you go is uh, going to be key now. right now uh, look all for, official. for all of us. But sir quick, quick, look official. We're on camera. Certainly for them. Uh, she said that the, the hostages themselves would be questioned here to, to just get a better picture of, of what happened and uh, hopefully why it happened so that this, this does not happen again. And just watching them, I know that they've had a the agenda. This situation this morning. Pushing the agenda. This is just an agenda-pushing event. Things under control, but... Can you imagine the relief that they are feeling, the hostages are feeling, the families and friends and yeah, people that oh are involved my God, in this? Yeah. Look what at them moving the tank out. It's over. It's over. Get it out of here. You got citizens over here. They've probably been torturing them with a fake news story. 
You got a bunch of cops. I mean, this is just another day. Another day in our scripted reality, right? News to report that no one was hurt in this. Yes, because this is a what big is that, day Jackson for the city Drive? of Tuscaloosa. The, the I team, don't have time uh, to do any some, of the decoding. I'm sure people will be covering this and people will be doing the numbers. But this is freaking hilarious. You can't go like one or two days without a stupid psyop.